I remember just looking back the whole time and they were like okay so we're gonna start with a box jump and I was like no you give it to him don't don't click and then they gave me my number I was just like I want to go home use this as a microphone is that weird right okay yeah i'm using this as a microphone so. i sound awful because i've just had covid so ignore how nasally i sound and also the light starts flashing it's because my ring light's broken so yeah oh my god i haven't done a video in ages okay so i'm going to be talking about my audition process like the auditions i went to what i did what they expect and everything like for a performing arts college because i did a video of a day in the life of a performing arts student if you haven't seen it i'll put it up here or in the description but a few people asking what college it was what i did to get in how they could do it so i just thought i'm just gonna make a video it feels so weird because i haven't done a video in age so i first auditioned when i was about to be 16 or it was 16 about to be 17 i don't know one of them i was 16 i think and ever since i was little i knew that i wanted to leave spain and go to a performing arts college in england at the age of 16 and that was it that's what i was gonna do okay so the first round of auditions i did was in 2018 december i auditioned for bird college lady theater arts and erdang i always wanted to go to bird college that was my top choice ever since i was young so that was actually my first audition so you have to bear in mind that in every college the audition process is going to be slightly different i mean they're all pretty similar but yeah so i'll insert a few photos or videos if i find some so i remember waking up really early to you know do my makeup and get my hair done and people are always like oh what do you wear how do you know what to wear well some colleges provide you with a list like a really detailed list telling you exactly what's going to happen what you need to wear for each thing so i remember for bird you just needed a leotard a colorful leotard i wouldn't wear a plain black one unless they specify that you need plain black so it was a colorful leotard and then just black tights, right? At Bird, they did the ballet audition right before the jazz audition, so it was all in one clump. So you didn't have time to change between ballet and jazz, so they didn't ask for ballet tights. I remember getting there really early. I just had my hair. I think I did like two plaits, and then made sure it was just out of my face. And then you have to bring another outfit for singing and your monologue. So basically, what you need to prepare for is you need a song, and I'm pretty sure it was 32 bars, which isn't a lot. So I would say cut it to the best part and the bit that's going to show your voice off the most. For your monologue, I'm pretty sure it was like a one minute monologue, so it wasn't long either. Try to not pick the classic ones. So they said don't pick shakers, don't pick DNA, that really common monologue that everyone does. But yeah, apart from that, you can literally do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'll show you what I was wearing. I, oh my god, I look awful, but ignore that. I was wearing just a blue leotard with flowers and black tights, but obviously I went there in like, joggers or whatever. And then for singing, I wore this all-in-one jumpsuit. It kind of had like lines and stuff. Make sure you wear something that's going to make you stand out. What they say is wear something that you would wear going out to a family lunch. Yeah, I just wore a jumpsuit. It doesn't have to be over the top. You just need to look presentable. Okay, so when I got there, they had a list and then they gave me my number and i put it on they split you up into two groups the first half do the dance auditions first and then go on to singing and acting and then the second half do the singing and acting first and then go on to the dancing i was doing the dance first so they said just get ready into your dance stuff so they did give you a bit of time to get changed into it but most people already had it on i went into the theatre that they have and just warmed up a bit started meeting other people it was quite nerve-wracking because there were a few people that had friends i was there alone and yeah i'm quite a shy person so i was just sat there warming up terrified because remember this is the college i wanted like this was the college for me so we just were there for a few minutes i'm pretty sure the head came in and like we all sat down and he just gave us a quick chat i could be making that up maybe that was the open day but i'm pretty sure that happened anyway this was like a few years ago so it could all change the dance auditions were just all one after the other you didn't have time to change i went in you brought your ballet shoes and your water bottle and jazz shoes but they said you could wear jazz shoes or you didn't like you could have you didn't need to wear any shoes 
So Buffy, obviously. No. <laughs> anyway, so we get in and they line us up in order. They did a warm up and I remember we started off with ballet and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is so hard because I'm not a ballet dancer. <laughs> so I was terrified starting off with ballet. They just did a few exercises. There was like a panel and then you had the ballet teacher obviously I can't exactly remember what he did but i'm pretty sure it was just a few exercises and then maybe a tiny routine i'm pretty sure and then obviously they made us do it in smaller groups it wasn't that long actually and then we had a jazz teacher and then we did a routine oh we did a few exercises before the routine and we had to do those in like twos or fours so be prepared to do that honestly it's just so that you have room then what they do oh and then we went on to the routine and be prepared to improvise you're gonna have to i think wherever you go you have to improvise it is what it is and i hated improvising i still do no i'm better but at that point mm -mm. so actually a good trick that i did because i hated it so much was i had made up a few eight counts before i actually went into the audition because i knew they were going to make me freestyle i just hated it so much but it worked because they put the music on and then I tried to see if it went with it and it did, so amazing. I didn't stress about that. They teach you the routine and then they make you do it in fours. So you've got two at the front, two at the back. You do it, freestyle, and then switch. And then you do it again so that they can actually see you. And then after that was done, that was it. I'm pretty sure that was it. No, wait, there was one routine that was more musical theatre. It was much more acting, like performing. The other one was more jazz commercial so you had three things in total ballet musical theater and then jazz commercial after we did the dance they gave us a break so we could get ready for our song and our monologue again i changed into this jumpsuit people were wearing dresses other people were wearing like smart trousers and a nice top like it's it's not that deep we had our lunch break then and then after the lunch break they gave you the order that you had you were singing and doing your monologue in and i was one of the first ones i went in and there's like a panel again and then you've got the pianist they ask you a few questions like where are you from they definitely like chatty people people that look confident not cocky confident they know you're going to be super nervous and they just want to make you feel as comfortable as possible they ask to hear my song first you just give the pianist your sheet music explain if you have any cuts give them the tempo don't click they hate it please don't click just like pat on your on your leg i sang i'm fine and then they were like, okay, now can we hear your monologue? And then you just do your monologue. Like, it's pretty straightforward. And then they're like, okay, thank you. And then you just leave. Like, it's that quick. It feels way more stressful in the moment, but it is that straightforward. And then after you finish your singing and your monologue, you have a physio appointment thing. I didn't know what it was. I'm not gonna lie. You went in and then someone just examined your body. I guess you could say they just check like your hip flexibility any injuries they weighed you they measured you yeah i still don't know why they did that but they did it and then that was it that was my day i was lucky because i got to finish early because the thing is they split the day into two groups the first group started with dance but the second group started with singing and acting so if you were in the dance you all went in together and then when you had your singing and monologue obviously if you were at the top on one of the first ones you then just had to go straight to your physio and you could go home whereas if you had your singing and acting first you did it but then you had to wait for everyone else to finish so that then you could all go to the dance auditions together which was annoying because it meant if you were one of the first ones doing your singing and monologue you had a long time you literally waited the whole day and then at the end you would all go to dance together i did the dance together i sang and i went straight to the video and then i was done so i was done pretty early you could be done at three you could be done at six honestly you never know so i came out of that audition thinking i had done well like i was so happy with the way it turned out i loved the vibe i just loved the whole thing i just knew i wanted to be there so that was my first audition i kind of did all of these auditions in the same week or two weeks it was a lot obviously because i live in spain it was just too complicated to keep getting flights there and back so i just got one flight did them all and then went back home obviously you don't have to do it like that you can spread them out a little bit more <laughs> right so my second audition i want to say was erdang could be wrong but i mean it doesn't matter i was most nervous to do this one just because of the name just from what i had heard i was just most nervous for this audition again woke up early did my hair did my makeup this time they did specify that you needed ballet tights and a black leotard 
for ballet, for jazz, you changed. I definitely recommend paying attention to what they send you. Read through it really carefully because you don't want to turn up and not have something that you should have had because they'll just be like, oh, she didn't really care, like she's so unprepared. I got there early again. I mean, all the auditions started really early. Not really, really early, but quite early and they gave you your numbers most auditions were pretty similar they just had a few different things like for example at Erda, the dance auditions weren't all in one go i got there and they said you have ballet first so get changed into ballet so i went down into the changing rooms everyone else was there as well obviously i got changed they took us to the studio and it was in the main studio i mean if you know erdang you know exactly which one i'm talking about it was a ballet bar then we did some center work then pirouettes yeah it, it felt like a normal ballet class and there was a panel at the top and then you had the teacher after that we went to the changing rooms changing to jazz i had black ballet black ballet tights black tights and a colorful leotard i'm pretty sure i wore the same one to every audition and then i had jazz and it was in a different studio it wasn't in the main one so you had two students from erdang demonstrating on either corner at the front and then you obviously had the teacher and oh my gosh i just remember standing there and they were like okay so we're gonna start with a box jump and i was like no it was hard it was hard but it was a um it was good. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. They made you improvise again. So like I said, just just have something prepared or just know in your mind you're going to have to improvise. So if you are that type of person that can't improvise or doesn't like it or gets really nervous, prepare something beforehand. You did the routine again in fours. You two at the front, two at the back. You do it, then you switch. And then they're like, okay, cool, you're done. They give you a break lunch break and then you get ready to sing and to do your monologue i can't remember if i did my monologue and singing in the same place like at the same time i think i did don't quote me on it anyway it doesn't really matter so i changed had my lunch oh and then they also had an interview i remember my interview was before my singing and you just go in there and they ask you questions like why have you chosen to audition for erdang where else have you auditioned have you got any offers yet which is your first choice just normal questions like that okay so after that i had my singing and they're just like okay uh, hey how are you where are you from stuff like that you give your sheet music to the pianist again he asks for the tempo you give it to him don't don't click i know i keep repeating it but don't click they hate it okay they hate it and then you just sing and then they ask you for your monologue so i did my monologue they're like thank you and then you just leave I'm done that was my day remember this is 2018 so it could all have changed by now it probably has especially with covid loads of them are like online so then lastly in that batch of auditions i had lane i already th went in thinking i wasn't gonna get it i don't know why i thought it they had a very stereotypical image and i just i, I didn't fit into that image but yeah don't go in with that mentality. No, just don't. It's just not true. You know, if they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. Miss Lane gave a talk at the beginning to the parents and the kids, which my mom already fell in love with her. She was like, ah, I love this college because they did treat like the parents really well. And they even gave them like biscuits and teas and my mom was making friends and she was like, yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> anyway, I hadn't even started the audition. So we were put into different ballet sets. Okay, now. I'm not a massive fan of ballet and I always thought I was really bad at ballet but I have done advanced ballet exams so because I had that qualification they put me in the most advanced set and I wasn't so that stressed me out and because my name is at the top of the register I was at the front 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 I was literally the first one and the panel was like right right next to me like, not even up front, next to me. Okay, so they could see every single alignment. The teacher that was doing the class, she was saying all the terminology. And I was so stressed and I didn't know half of the things she was saying. And sometimes she wasn't demonstrating what it was. So, mm, I remember just looking back the whole time because I was the first one, like, at the front. So I couldn't copy anyone. So I was literally holding on to the bar. Every time she said something, I had no clue. So I was like looking back and trying to copy everyone. They were all primas. I kid you not, they were primas in there. And I was like, oh, I feel so out of place right now. So it wasn't a good start. And I could see the panel looking at me like, what 
on earth is she doing? Oh my god, I still get so embarrassed when I think of that because it was it just was you had to be in the moment, okay? Just anyway, that happened. Ballet was over and after ballet I was like mortified. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't like this, I'm not gonna be in it anyway. But obviously he kept going. They gave you time to change for jazz commercial. After ballet, we changed. I wore t- black tights and a colourful leotard. We did that class, didn't feel confident in it. After that, we had acting. Obviously, I, w- I was expecting it to be just like every other audition. You go in on your own, you do your monologue, and you're done. No, this is an actual workshoppy kind of class everyone goes in you do a few warm-up exercises it, it did it felt like an acting class but then they were like okay time for your monologues so one by one we had to stand up and do our monologues in front of everyone like everyone auditioning that stressed me out you gotta do what you gotta do but still it did stress me out because i mean you're doing it in front of everyone you feel so judged but that's the industry and then after that happened, I was I was just like, I want to go home. This audition isn't for me. I was like, you know what? The only thing I have left is singing, and that's probably what I'm strongest at. So I'm just going to do my best. In this singing room, it's, it's glass, okay? Completely clear. So anyone walking by it can see you. And I'm pretty sure they can hear you, especially if you're singing and if you're belting, which is what I was doing. <gasps> oh my god, no. I forgot, I forgot such an important part okay so at lane unlike every other audition i had been at which was only two you had to choreograph a dance you or your dance teachers or whatever you needed a dance it could be any style it could it could literally be anything you just needed a dance in this glass room you had to do your dance and your song i chose something quite out there it had a spanish touch to it the dance that i was doing i was scared because sometimes risks are too risky so miss lane is in the room when you do your dance and your song there's obviously other people there as well but she she's there she is the main one you want to impress so i did it it looked like she loved it so i was like okay okay correct and then the song it was a very risky choice i remember changing it before my first audition like last minute and i hadn't practiced it much it was satisfied from hamilton so you know how it has a rap i mean i don't know if you know but it has a rap it has belty parts so it was a risk and i was doing it for miss lane and i was thinking i really hope she likes it because i'm about to rap and it could go wrong so I did it. Best reaction I could have got. I was singing, right? And as soon as I started rapping, I could see... Because there were actual students that already were at Lane. It was a glass room. So they all lined up and they were literally hyping me up. Like, I was rapping and they were literally all lined up being like, Oi! And, ah, oh, the vibe. I was like, mm, I love this. Anyway, I finished and she was like, wow and she basically said like it was such a big choice like it was risky but it paid off i went in to that room thinking i just want to go home and after i did that in front of miss lane i was like okay 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 i love this place and then that was it so those were the three places i auditioned for in 2018 a few days later i got an email from bird saying they wanted me. Erdang emailed me back saying they wanted a recall and then Lane told me that I was in. So amazing outcomes. I went to the Erdang recall and I remember nearly not going because I was really ill. So I didn't know if I was going to be able to get on the plane but I did it. I did the recall and then I didn't get it but I wanted to go to bed. I always wanted to go to bed and so I accepted my place at bed and I was going to be starting at bed September 2019. Now this video isn't meant to be my experience at performing arts college it's the audition process so i'm not gonna go into detail about my experience at bird college but what i will say is i realized it wasn't for me i ended up coming back home and there's a lot of reason behind it but again this video isn't for that so if you want a video on my experience at bird college and what happened and why i ended up leaving then i can do another video but it's, it's going to be too long if i put it in this video as well because then we have another audition right so i went back home i did loads of things and then i ended up realizing i wanted to go to performing arts college so i auditioned for masters performing arts which is the one i'm at right now so this is during covid so of course couldn't do it in person they were offering online audition so i just thought 
let me just give it a go i applied and they gave me a whole list of things to do the list was long i had to do jazz tech exercises like loads i also had to do ballet tech exercises like you had plies the adage tondus like a normal ballet lesson when i tell you it took me so long i would wake up at like nine get ready bear in mind it was in my room while well, it was in my parents room there wasn't much space to do anything really i would get there 9 a.m start the videos and i wouldn't finish till like 7 8 and the only reason why I would stop wasn't because I had the videos, it was because the sun had gone down so there was no light. See, so yeah, I would wake up the next day, watch the videos from the day before and think, oh my god, this is awful, I can't send this. So I would have to redo the whole thing again. On top of that, they asked me for a monologue and they also asked me for a song and they also asked me for a dance. That audition process was the longest, but probably because it wasn't in person, because it would have been in person, it would have just been one day and done. If you're doing it online, my advice is video it once, maybe twice, maybe three times, but don't think about it being perfect. They want you to go to their college to train. They don't want you to already be perfect. Anyway, they changed that audition process. I spoke to some of my friends. They only had to do a video of their singing, a video of their monologue, and a video of them dancing. So way easier. <laughs> I was I was just like, I wanna go home. But I got in, I got an offer. And I am at Masters Performing Arts now. And I, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. I remember Berg got back to me like literally six days later and then the others took a bit longer. So yeah, I guess my biggest advice is don't go in thinking you need to be perfect because I promise you, everyone thinks you do, you don't. You're going to college to train. So obviously you're not going to be a finished product. They're going to make you a finished product. If they're looking for someone they can train. Someone that they see who has potential and has a passion and a drive and someone that's willing to work really hard. And then look through all the requirements carefully. How many bars they're asking for in your song. How long your monologue has to be. Check to see if they ask for any specific styles they want it to be. Because for example at Lane they asked the song for it to be legit. Whereas when I was there they didn't. You just need to make sure you've read through it all. If ballet needs to be ballet tights and black. Leo, you know just simple things that you need to know. And also don't go in with any expectations. Go in saying, I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna try my best. If it's meant to be, it will be. For example, I went into Lane thinking they want a specific body type, a specific look. I didn't fit into that look and I still got in. So don't go in thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get in because of this. Or I am gonna get in because of this. Go in thinking, I'm gonna do my best. That's all I can do. That's it, that's all I've got to say. Trust yourself. Good luck if you're trying to audition. It's not an easy process, but if you genuinely love it and you it, it's what you want, then it is exciting. It's, it's nerve wracking, but it's so exciting. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe. And if you want to know more about performing arts, college, life, anything else, let me know in the comments. Yeah, also like the video if you enjoyed it, obviously. I really hope this helped people out there who are thinking of auditioning for colleges and have no idea what to expect. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>